Hey everyone, this is Kim, your Esborn book lady, and I would like to introduce you to my new boyfriend. His name is Nibbles. I don't just love Nibbles, I'm kind of in love with Nibbles. Um, Nibbles is one of our newer releases. It came out a few weeks ago and I just got my hands on a copy. Now our CEO, Randall White, was saying that he felt that Nibbles was going to be one of our biggest sellers ever. And I had not seen the book in person until today, and now I see what he's saying. So first of all, I have been a children's literature fan forever, and I'm pretty much obsessed. That's how I became a book lady. And I don't know if I've ever seen a book that was as clever as this. So first of all, Nibbles is adorable. He's this book monster. If you can see here, there's all sorts of interesting textures and cutouts in the book. So this is the story of a little monster called... Nibbles. So the story goes along, tells you a little bit about Nibbles and how he is very naughty, likes to get into all kinds of things. He'll nibble your, your toes, your clocks, but best of all, he loves to nibble on books. And then check this out. Throughout the book, you can see there are cutouts where Nibbles has unfortunately munched your book. My kids are loving this. Can you find Nibbles on this page? Now here's where it really bumps it up a notch and just gets beyond clever and creative. So inside the book, there are three smaller books. So you have books within books. And you can see this one is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It talks about how Nibbles has eaten his way into Goldilocks's book and is wreaking havoc with her story, which is very upsetting to her. So she's saying, oh, it wasn't me, it was a monster. Okay, so then next, Nibbles, so naughty, visits Little Red Riding Hood. This is probably my favorite of the, the three little stories within the stories. And then he goes to visit Jack and the Beanstalk. I have never seen a book that was this creative, this books within books concept, all these little cutouts. It's just really special. And it's hilarious. It's just adorable. So finally, Nibbles is replaced back into his little cage. Whew, thank goodness. But you really mustn't ever take your eyes off Nibbles. Not even for one second. <gasps> Can you hear something? What's that noise? Uh-oh. He's gone again. If you have little ones in your life, I would say any child that's been old enough to be introduced to some of the basic fairy tales, they are going to absolutely love this book, and I could not recommend it to you enough. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.